Miles up the middle. Gonna throw back on a screen the other way to Robisky, but it was very well defended that time. That was Sales. The Lions have applied some heat. Beanie is hit in that backfield beautifully by Odrick. It's on this Penn State defensive line, 91 right in the middle, just gets right across Brian Browning. And I, when you have... Thank you for that. Six minutes here and no score. And Beanie is hit in the backfield. That's Bowman. He is off team. The Texas Longhorns here tonight. The Buckeyes and the Nittany Lions are scoreless and wrestling to the Dean Yard pass play. The read option and Pryor gets back to the line of scrimmage and it was read by the defense. Remember the great coaches. Yeah. Okay. Beanie is stuffed and it is going to be third and long. I would think that Tressel. Get away. Sansenbacher has caught three passes tonight. There's that read option late pitch. Beanie's in trouble. Let's go to Matt Warner's Pryor backing up. Going to go deep to Robisky. Incomplete. He came to duck with 40 seconds remaining. We're in the first half. Under pressure, down he goes. He's sacked. Backside pressure, Mabin, the speed rusher. And Browning, number 70, has had a rough first half against the speed of the Penn State defensive ends, whether it's Josh Gaines or Aaron Mabin. Aaron Mabin just goes right around Brian Browning. I don't even know if... Pryor going to keep it in the air. Sansenbacher again. There's that read option, and Beanie did not get there. Audrick. Terrell Pryor, fumble, loose ball. Knock free. Big loose ball, big scrum. Looked like the Lions may have bounced on it. It looked like Bowman may have gotten to the ball and recovered it. And it just taking the sneak for the first down. He tried to actually go to the outside and run for a first down, and Mark Rubin just popped the ball loose. It's the first time tonight the true freshman has made a true freshman making the sneak in the first down. He tried to run it to the outside and tried to go 55 yards for a touchdown. And Bowman recovers, and so here come. The sneak in the first down. He tried to run it to the outside and tried to go 55 yards for a touchdown. And Bowman just taking the sneak for the first down. He tried to actually go to the outside and run for a first down. And Mark Rubin just popped the ball loose. It's the first time tonight the true freshman has made a true freshman mistake by instead of just taking the sneak in the first down, he tried to run it to the outside and tried to go 55 yards for a touchdown. And Bowman recovered. He's got Robisky open. And it's bobbled out of bounds. Here. Sane slips out in trouble. Terrell in a foot race. Can he get the first down? Cannot. Tony did try to deal with the speed and then he holds it. Maven goes right by him. Pryor lucky to keep the play alive. There's Penn State. Discipline. Good job by Tony Davis. Waiting for Pryor to all over the field. All he does here is read the eyes of the quarterback and they lead him right to the throw. Beanie Wells couldn't block his man, but Terrell steps away from him and goes deep. End zone! Intercepted. Picked off by Lydell Sargent. To Aaron Maven, the defensive end, who gets around not only Beanie Wells, but the tight end that time, Jake Ballard. It wasn't Brian Browning, but the tight end, forcing Terrell Pryor to move off to the right and then just throw it up and hope somehow that Brian Hartline could come down with it. Last week it worked. This the Buckeyes contained him up in East Lansing. Is it possible that the Spartans were looking past the Buckeyes at their arch rival down in Ann Arbor? It seems that way tonight and Pryor keeps it this